Hello and welcome to this video about creating a sandbox in Salesforce. You may have heard of a sandbox before, but perhaps you're not exactly sure what they do. To put it simply, it's a copy of your production org in which you can build and test new configurations without having any effect on your live system. First of all, sandboxes are available with professional, enterprise, performance, and unlimited editions, and in both lightning and classic versions of Salesforce. Let's go and have a look. This table here shows you the different types of sandboxes you can create. It includes information such as whether metadata and record data will be copied, how much of the record data will be copied, and also the refresh time, which is how often you can refresh the sandbox to a version of your org in its current state. As you can see, developer and developer pro sandboxes only copy metadata, whereas with partial copy and full copy, both metadata and record data is copied across. Before we can create a sandbox, we need to create a template. This controls what data we'd like to copy into the sandbox. This template will determine what objects we'd like to copy data from. All sandboxes will make a complete copy of metadata when they are created. Now we can create a partial copy sandbox and select the template that we created earlier. Give the sandbox a meaningful name and a description. You have the option to create the sandbox based off the production org or another sandbox. Select the sandbox that you would like to create. You will need sandbox licenses to create them, and if you don't have any left, you can contact Salesforce to purchase more. You can then select the sandbox template that we created earlier, and finally click Create. The process usually takes several minutes for the sandbox to be created. You'll be emailed when this process is finished. When you log into the sandbox, you'll be able to see the data that we specified has been transferred across thanks to our sandbox template. It's important to note that the users who've been copied across will come over with invalid added to the end of their email address. The email deliverability for the org will also have been disabled, although you can turn this back on. This is so that when you're testing in the sandbox, your users and customers won't be bombarded with any emails. Thank you for watching this short video about creating a sandbox in Salesforce. Please visit our YouTube channel and website to see more Salesforce videos like this one. See you on the next one. Ah!